Welcome back guys. Sorry it's been a while. Uh, work has been, uh, well work. And um, the layout seems to get nowhere anytime soon. And um, I haven't really had a lot of time to come out here and do what I want. I've acquired more than I can possibly imagine. And uh, I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff. And uh, anyway start off with this fine looking Atlas caboose. Atlas just uh, did a run of the Bayline uh, wide vision cabooses and uh, Bayline only had one of them. They had actually they had a few of the, their cabooses. Uh, one was homemade and uh, basically made of whatever they had around the shops and uh, I wish Atlas or one of them companies would come out with that one but uh, Anyway, uh, we got this one here for now, and uh, Atlas did a real good job. The hardest thing about getting anything with the Bayline correct is the color. Um, as you can uh, see, if I can get my camera over there, uh -huh, uh -huh. my Bayline uh, up in the back corner there. I don't know if it'll focus any. Let's see. Color is close. It's an ather and it's ready to roll. They got the color pretty close. So, uh, ooh. anyway, kind of zoom out here for y'all. Here we go. So, anyway, um, I don't have a picture to show y'all, but uh, my buddy, he uh, he uh, sent a picture off the Atlas years ago, and. Uh, I guess they finally accepted the picture, but uh, <clears throat> anyway, we got good detail. I mean, it's not your typical molded on handrail on a caboose. I mean, it's got etched walkways, it's got the windows are painted. I mean, everything on it is correct. The Herald, now on the Bayline caboose, now it's kind of chipped and faded away, but. Uh, a lot of time went into this car. I mean, the detail on the trucks, the undercarriage, I mean, everything. It's got the etched walkways. Uh, I don't know if I can pick up on that any, but uh, I'll do my best. Let's see. There you go. You can kind of see the etched walkways there. And, uh, real good. Now the couplers, you know, they're still Atlas plastic couplers, and I'll put KDs on those but uh, really good detail and Atlas is coming out with a bunch of the other cabooses too and I was really interested in getting the Bayline caboose as y'all know I have a pretty good bit of Bayline stuff uh, I'm getting a few more Bay Bayline wood chip hoppers um, some A&N whoops sorry guys a few A&N items and whatnot but uh, let me bring it around to the front here and uh, I'll show you the rest of it I'm probably wondering you know I usually use my phone and I uh, haven't run out of room but uh, I didn't get a camera. Uh, I'm still using my phone, but I uh, took a camera tripod and made a mount for it where it hold my phone tightly without it falling over and flopping around. And I have a pod for my camera now. But uh, let's see if I can scoot it a little bit more over here. There we go. But the detail on the caboose, sorry for the lean, it's not the tripod, it's my deck. Uh, it's an add-on station my friend gave to me. But uh, you can see like the rivets around the window. If I zoom in for y'all, kind of mighty. About a while since I've done this, as y'all can tell. Y'all can see the rivets around the window. The handrails are correct, the brake wheel, the chain across. Only thing Atlas did that kind of you know, I'm not saying they didn't do a good job. Chain right there. They bring it all the way down, and then it just dangle in there. They could at least finish the mold and took it under the, underneath the car. I mean, in my opinion. But you know, they 
did a lot of other stuff here. They got the number 10 in the right spot. Um, I don't know if y'all can see the, oops, pins in the way. I don't know if y'all can, uh, oh shit, sorry. There we go, get, bring it a little closer, but, uh, it's got the, the window, is the, the door had like a weird looking window, I guess you could open and close it, so, so to say, but, uh, only other thing, I want to say it actually had a red gyro light on the end of it. Or a headlight. I don't, I don't remember which one it had. Uh, I want to say one end had a headlight and the other one had like a red gyro light. But uh, if that's the only thing that's missing other than the chain not going all the way down underneath the car and you know kind of wrapped around and a red gyro light. I, I'd say otherwise uh, Atlas did a fantastic job on this caboose. Um, I, would, I don't know. I'm I was thinking about putting interior in it, but you know, who's who's going to look inside a caboose? I mean, <clears throat> if anything, I'll put the red jar light on the back of it, or the fret, is in it, it, or you know, whatever you want to call it, the fucking red end device, or a fret, or a, uh, you know, anything like that, jar light, uh, it doesn't matter. And she is one that does it to it. Ugh. To you of those who are wondering, ooh, are you gonna weather it? No, I'm not gonna weather it. I'm not gonna. I have one bay. I have a few bay line box cars that are weathered. I bought them like that. I'm not gonna weather them. So, Oops. too far forward. There you go, guys. Um, I don't do too many reviews, as y'all know, but. Uh, here in a couple weeks, uh, Athern, has, Athern Genesis has released their uh, ANN Appalachia Northern Jeep 15T, as in well Jeep 15 tunnel motor, and um, I actually bought one. I actually I was thinking about buying all three, but it was going to be well over a thousand dollars if I did that, and at the time I had the money. But uh, I spent three hundred dollars with Athern. I think that was plenty good for sound. <laughs> So here in a couple weeks, when they uh, send me mine, I pre-ordered it, uh, I'll be doing a review on that, and uh, I'm trying to get back to doing, you know, some reviews and whatnot, and I also noticed that uh, Athern slash Roundhouse, if you look on the Athern page, they're coming back out with the EMD Model 40, also known as the Critter. Now, uh, yes, I am going to pre-order one because I've always wanted one and I think they're cool. So, I'd like to see if they'll come out with a, if they have a sound decoder for it or anything like that. So, maybe TCS might have one, I don't know. But, um, anyway, for now, uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you on the flip side.